controversial new treatment for Alzheimer's has been approved by regulators in the United States. The treatment, which is approved by the US Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, is the first for the disease after nearly two decades of failed efforts. Aducanumab targets the underlying cause of Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia, attacking the disease process rather than just easing symptoms. Patient groups have campaigned for its approval, but it's a contentious decision. Some experts and the FDA's Independent Advisory Committee advised against it being approved. We'll hear both those perspectives in a moment. But first, our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, has this report. This is an historic moment in the battle against Alzheimer's. For the first time, a drug has been approved which tackles not just the symptoms, but the underlying cause of this devastating disease. Aducanumab is not yet licensed in the UK and available only as part of a clinical trial, like here at the National Hospital for Neurology in central London. Aldo Chereza, who's 68, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's 10 years ago and had to stop working as a surgeon. He receives aducanumab every month via infusion and is certain it's helped him. I felt that I, was, uh, I wasn't getting so mixed up. My, my, my cognitive tests were improving quite, quite markedly. Two years ago, aducanumab was written off as a failure and the trial Aldo was taking part in was abandoned. But the manufacturers, Biogen, analysed more data and concluded those on the highest doses had better cognition, memory and language. This is the brain of someone with early Alzheimer's. The red areas show a build-up of amyloid, a protein which can form toxic deposits. This is the same individual after a year of aducanumab. Significant amounts of amyloid have been cleared. This is the first potential treatment that can tackle the underlying causes of the disease. And so for this reason, this really is quite a pivotal moment for Alzheimer's disease. In recent years, over a hundred promising Alzheimer's drugs have flopped. So to now have a medicine that can potentially slow the disease is a huge moment and will encourage scientists to redouble their efforts and find even better treatments. Aldo has been back on aducanumab for six months and says he's already beginning to feel the benefits. I've noticed that I'm getting less confused. Although it's still there, it's not quite as bad. Um, and I'm just feeling that bit more confident now. Aducanumab is suitable only for those with mild Alzheimer's, when damage to brain function is still limited. It could take more than a year before UK regulators decide whether to approve the drug. If they do, demand here will be enormous. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Well, as we've reported, some experts advised against this drug uh, being approved. And I spoke to one of them, Dr. G. Caleb Alexander. Uh, he told me he was shocked at the decision by the FDA to approve it. Um, this was not the outcome that I expected, uh, nor that I was uh, encouraging the FDA to consider. Uh, I think the jury is still out regarding this product, and, and there is remarkable... Uh, there's a remarkable amount of uncertainty regarding the totality of evidence as to whether it truly is effective or not. Well, well, just talk us through that, because the FDA has voted against licensing this in the past. So have, has, have the facts changed for them to make a different decision now? Well, it's a great question, and I think we'll have to find out and look carefully at the materials that accompany this decision to see whether additional data has been provided by the manufacturer. But I was part of a scientific advisory committee late last year, and there was virtual consensus among the committee that there simply was not a persuasive evidence. Uh, persuasive is the key term there. Uh, and that's a regulatory threshold. And, and so the committee, uh, there was pretty much uh, agreement among the committee that at that time there was not persuasive evidence uh, that this product uh, was safe and effective and therefore suitable for market access. 
Dr. G. Caleb uh, Alexander, speaking to me earlier. I also caught up with Maria Carrillo, Chief Science Officer at the Alzheimer's Association in the United States, and she disagreed with that argument put forward by Dr. Alexander. Of course, as the Alzheimer's Association and the largest patient advocacy group, um, uh, we are celebrating this as a victory for the millions of Americans and actually the millions of individuals all around the world who uh, experience Alzheimer's in their family. This is a family disease and it's devastating. So we are celebrating a victory today. But, but scientifically speaking, what has changed between that committee review, which Dr. Alexander sat on a few months ago, and now? So I don't think anything has changed. What it really is is the interpretation of that data. And that is just a, an interpretation that comes from looking at it from two different sides. Um, so the FDA has a certain side and they've shared it today through their approval. We also uh, were looking at this uh, as a half glass full. This uh, approval, which the advisory committee actually did not consider, was granted under what's called accelerated approval. It's a special program within the FDA that allows for diseases with severe unmet needs to actually be approved under this accelerated approval process that is a bit conditional because it will require confirmatory trials later, but it allows diseases like Alzheimer's that kill with it. That's critical unmet need. We have nothing to slow down this disease at all to have an opportunity and these patients to have an opportunity for treatment now uh, rather than wait another five years for a confirmatory trial like Dr. Alexander and others are calling for when it would be too late for them uh, to actually have uh, access and, uh, and have a benefit from this treatment. Maria Carillo.